Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this and they wanted to know how they could draw that. It kind of looks like a twisted ribbon. Uh, not really to me, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to draw it with the Common Shape tool. And right here underneath your Common Shapes is this banner shape. And I'm just going to draw a banner, make it quite skinny. I'm going to go up to object and convert it to a curve. And when I do that, I can do anything I want to with it now because I have node handles. I'm going to make it a little skinnier. I'm going to grab those two and I'm going to go like that. Now I'm going to rotate, the, rotate this guy kind of like that. Now, <clears throat> anything you want to do to it, control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button, get that two-sided handle and do that right there. There are several ways you could do this. There are probably 10 different ways, but this is one of them. I'm going to grab that node right there. I'm going to have it click to that node. And I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete that node. Now I've got a line right there. I'm going to grab my three-point curve line and go from that node outwardly and, and kind of mimic that turn. Uh, I don't like that sharpness right there, so I'm going to, whoop, can't really do that. Um, you know what we can do, though? Take the Smart Fill tool and move that over. Well, let me, let me make my duplicate distance smaller, shorter. So that is four inches. We're going to make our nudge factor five. And when we do this with the Smart Fill tool, it'll make that all one piece. So now we can take that node that's still there and possibly delete it. Eh, maybe it changed it too much. Let's just leave it. So let's just leave it. It's fine. And then here they just use the, let me bring in that picture. Um, it's a little bit small, so I'm going to make it larger. And I'm a little bit... Um, Got more of a bow, so I'm going to grab this right here and stretch it. That looks pretty good. Now I've still got it all selected. Now I can use the Smart Fill tool. <clears throat> and I don't know if they want those colors, but I'm going to use red and red. And then I'm going to take the first one, the first one, and use the Interactive Fill tool and just go down to that point and add black to that point and make it make the make that it get it make the ribbon look dark and then bring your slide bar down and actually you can bring your actually your black down let's put a green box around it go up to object order back a page so there there's is a little bit sharper but you can that's the kind of stuff you can change you know, if you want to, let me back up here and, you know, you could grab your shape tool and make that sharper, anything, any way you want it to, really. That looks pretty good, but you could do that on both ends, bring this node down a little bit. Now, we were changing the Smart Fill tool. So I'm going to grab it and move it over twice, move that over twice, and our lines are behind now, which are cool. Now let's put a green box around it, and you can see the difference on the ends, the one I did not change, object, order, back a page. That's pretty close, but you could do that, like I said, probably 10 different ways to make that ribbon. I don't know what it's for. Uh, maybe they're going to continue it. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I hope that answered their question, and thank you for watching.